What's going on everybody? It's Brian for the MacMob.com and today I'll be showing you some jailbroken tweaks for the iPad. Now I've been asked a lot of times why should I jailbreak an iPad or an iPad 2? Well hopefully this video will give you some reasons to do so and to me jailbreaking is a necessity for iPads and there are a couple of tweaks that are must-haves. So first one of the reasons why I think you should jailbreak an iPad is because of full force. Now what Full Force allows you to do is if you take a regular iPhone app you have the option to push the 2x button in the lower right corner and that allows you to just sort of zoom into it a little bit. But what Full Force does is it takes the app and it fills it up to the entire screen of the iPad as if it were a native iPad application. So for instance it works very good with a game called Crash Nitro Kart which is right here. So I turned full force off for this and you can see that it's just sitting here in its little area. I could push this button and it zooms into it but everything looks really bad because it pretty much zooms into the photo or whatever it is you're looking at. Everything is sort of pixelated and it doesn't fill the entire screen. Now a lot of you are going to ask me what I just did with my fingers. This is called multitasking gestures. I have a developer account so I was able to just add my iPad 2 to the account and it and it enable them automatically but if you don't you can just go into Cydia and there are a number of um, there's a number of different packages that allows you to add multitasking gestures very easily now if I turn full force on for the game go back into it you'll see that it loads the entire screen the status bar is completely gone And here we are, the game is running full screen, full FPS, everything is working as if it were built specifically for the iPad. Everything continues to work just fine, we could go ahead and play the game if we wanted. And you can see that it fills the entire screen instead of just zooming into the regular iPhone app and everything would just be pixelated because it's zoomed in. So that was an example of full force, and to me that's a must-have uh, must tweak for jailbroken iPads. Now it doesn't work for everything. So for example, if I go into speed test, first I'll show you a before and after of it. So if I go into the speed test application, here it is. This is just a regular iPhone app, pixel doubled, like so. Now if I go ahead and turn full force on for this application, you'll see that it's not compatible. So instead of the menu buttons being, you know, right here, they're way over in this corner. Some of the images are pushed out all over the place, so it just doesn't really work the way it should. So you can see that everything is way over here in this area, so it's just not going to really work properly. So full force doesn't really work with everything, but the good thing is that this tweak is free in Cydia. So go ahead and get it. Now, another tweak made by the same person, Ryan Petrich, uh, he made Full Force and he also made RetinaPad. It's very similar to Full Force, but instead of filling it up to the entire screen, it will load the Retina versions of the images instead. So with most iPhone apps that have that, that, uh, that run on the iPad 2 and you push the 2x button, they'll zoom in and everything is going to look bad. And if the app has Retina images, you could turn it on for RetinaPad and everything will look really, really clear. Um, it's sort of hard to demonstrate on video, so I'm not going to try. Um, you pretty much just have to install RetinaPad and try it out for yourself, and you'll notice exactly what it does. Um, I believe this is $2.99 in Cydia. I don't remember. I bought this quite a while ago for when I had my iPad 1. So I believe it was $3. It's definitely worth that. Full Force and RetinaPad to me are must have tweaks for jailbroken iPads. So if you don't have those ones, go ahead and download them right now. Just pause this video, go into Cydia and install Full Force and RetinaPad. So to me, those are pretty much the only two things that I actually need. Um, but I am going to show you a couple of other smaller tweaks. So one of them is called Safari Download Manager and this lets you download files from Safari. Uh, right within Safari. So it adds a little thing right here and this lets you 
uh, download files. So if you go to Mediafire or Mega Upload and you want to download a file, you could do so from right within Safari. That's pretty much my video. That's all I really wanted to show you. Um, Retina Pad and Full Force are the only real tweaks that I need from Cydia, but of course I do have the regular ones installed, such as SB Settings, Installus, Springtimize to do a number of little tweaks. So that's pretty much it with my video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them down below in the comments area. But that's it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you all very soon.